morning once again and I will just continue with pile settlement. Uh, in fact, in the last uh, uh, lecture I have discussed about various aspect how to model for calculating the settlement, how to model the group of pile embedded in different soil and calculate the settlement. And uh, now I will take two examples to explain that computation procedure. Uh, and uh, so that uh, depending on soil type we will also uh, model how to model actually whether at two third depth or at pile tip and then uh, various uh, uh, component how to calculate one by one that I will try to show through these two problems. And so, first problem let me uh, take actually this is the problem actually you can see here the given a pile group of 9 friction piles of 0.3 meter diameter is embedded into the soil with an arrangement shown in figure you can see in this figure and determine the settlement of the group neglecting compressibility of the sand. You can see here uh, as I have told you the model actually see the uh, this is the zone this is uniform zone the soil is embedded in sand and also resting on sand. Okay. So, that means, I can I can imagine a equivalent draft at the pile tip okay that is one thing first thing to be there and and you have to find out you can see that there is a compressible layer just slightly away from the pile tip so 3 meter away from the pile tip and thickness of the clay layer is 4 meter so because of if the if this this q that pile pile group carries actually 4400 kilonewton of load and when I will transfer here same load I will be transferring and then this load will be dispersed like this. Okay. So, it will be uh, that equivalent raft will be somewhere it will be here equivalent raft will be here and through that draft pile uh, pressure will be dispersed like this. So, what I have to do to find out the consolidation settlement of this layer I have to apply the formula log formula at the middle of the clay layer. Okay. So, this middle of the clay layer if I want to uh, apply then what I have to do first of all I have to find out the sigma v dash at this point before applying load. So, sigma v dash is what actually weight of the soil up to this and when there is a water table of course, I will be taking submerged unit weight otherwise total unit weight that is one thing I will be doing and second part will be I have to find out what is the delta sigma here that means, delta sigma here because of this foundation loading and how to find out that with this dispersion that means, one horizontal two vertical like that this dispersion generally we take based on that I will find out what is the width and length of the footing and then at this depth and based on that what is the pressure. So, that pressure will be the additional pressure coming because of this loading. And so, that using that finally, I will be using delta equal to uh, equal to C C into H by 1 plus E log 10 base sigma V dash plus delta sigma divided by sigma V dash this formula to be used. And so, delta sigma calculation actually I have to find out width here and uh, sigma V dash actually to be calculated by using the weight of soil up to this soil this layer. So, this is the way I have told and in fact, I have discussed two different model and uh, you can say uh, this is the uh, first model that means, uh, uh, or second model actually what I have shown that is uh, actually the equivalent raft to be uh, considered at the pile tip and this is the one we can consider and if you do that then what are the different component let me erase this one and then once again I will do you can see here um, uh, delta sigma first of all suppose I want to find out sigma v dash and since I will find out settlement at the middle of the clay layer. So, I will be considering unit weight, weight of the soil up to this. So, sigma v dash will be you can see up to this dry wind of sand will be used and what is the, uh, uh, the length actually or height. So, this actually 18 is the unit weight of the sand and length actually 11 plus 2 13 okay, plus uh, uh, 
I am taking dry unit weight and uh, moist unit weight also same since it is not given here. So, I will take and but it is below water table. So, the total unit weight minus unit weight of water that gives you the um, submerged unit weight multiplied by actually this thickness is 1 plus uh, this one will be taking. So, here actually submerged unit weight is 18 again minus unit weight of water 9.81 multiplied by actually up to 2 meter middle of the clay layer I will take. So, it will be 2. So, if I calculate this then you will get a value equal to uh, uh, sigma v dash actually 258.258.57 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, uh, I want to find out the delta sigma and uh, if I consider pile raft here, then if it is going like this, if it is going like this, then uh, and uh, this width of the uh, footing width of the block first of all you have to find out, you can see here like this. they are there. So, if I draw tangent from here, if I draw tangent from here, if I draw tangent from here, then what is this actually this length this will be equal to 2 times of 0 0.9 plus twice 0 0.3 by 2. So, 0 0.3 by 2 that means, uh, your center to center distance is spacing. So, this is one spacing twice 2 spacing I have taken already and then at this side from the center to end actually d by 2 here also center to end d by 2. So, d by 2 multiplied by twice it is the this side and this side. So, it becomes uh, 2 in 2 multiplied by 0 0.9 1.8 plus 0 0.3. So, it becomes 2.1. So, that means the block size is 2.1 by 2.1. So, your uh, enlarged uh, and from here to here depth is how much from here to here middle of the clay layer this depth actually will be equal to this depth will be equal to how much 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 that means 5, 5 meter up to this up to middle of the from the pile tip to the middle of the clay layer it is 5 meter. So, you will have enlarged uh, or delta sigma will be equal to q design actually 4400 divided by your b is 2.1 plus 5 and w also 2.1 plus 5 since it is a square one. So, this delta sigma if you calculate it gives you a value equal to uh, 87.28 87.28 kilo Newton per kilo Newton per meter square. Now, your delta h will be equal to c c of this layer is how much 0.3 multiplied by thickness of the layer is 4 and 1 plus E value is 1.05 log 10 base uh, uh, sigma dash actually 258.57 plus this 87.28 divided by 258.57 this one. So, if you calculate this one. Uh, by calculator I will see that you will get a value equal to 0 0.0739 meter because everything is expressed in meter. So, this result will be in meter because these are all non dimensional, but unit is because of this 4 meter thickness I have taken in meter. So, this result will come in meter. So, if I convert in millimeter, so it will become 73.73.9 or equal, equal say 74 millimeter uh, settlement. So, for this pile when the pile is uh, embedded uh, uh, grouped like this and embedded in sand where actually at some depth there is a compressible layer then ignoring the compression of the soil itself the elastic compression will be there that I have ignored even that ignoring that because of this presence of this some compressible layer the pile entire pile group will settle by 74 millimeter it is almost like 3 inches. So, that has to be uh, carefully uh, see that how important settlement calculation you can imagine. Uh, next one 
Okay, next problem is like this. Actually, you can see here. Uh, this is actually you can see the the model which I have explained in the first one, and you can see here there are um, uh, there's a very large group of five by four. The total twenty piles are there, and the length of the uh, uh, length of the pile is ten point eight meter, and different elevations are here. It is given. And based on this elevation, I can find out uh, the thickness. Actually, you can see uh, this is this thickness. Uh, this thickness of this layer is 1.8 meter. This is 1.8, and this is actually your 3 meter. And from here to here, it, it actually this is actually your 7.8 meter. And from here to here, actually this is 2.4 meter. And here to here, it is. 3 meter. So, these are there and now you can see that this is clay, this is also clay. So, you can see here this clay is having void ratio 0.7 and C C is 0.2 and here actually you can see void ratio is less and compressibility is also less and whereas, in this problem you can see void ratio is quite high above 1 and C C is obviously, is little high 0.32. So, that means, when the uh, the pile is embedded in uniform soil then uh, and that to uh, compressible clay soil then what is the model actually our model is actually to be equivalent wrap to be considered at two third height. Okay. So, th this is the one you have to consider the equivalent wrap at this depth. Okay and this will be nothing but and this will be actually from here to here it will be uh, 10.8 by 3 because this size two third this will be one third. So, now uh, uh, so if I equivalent wrapped is here this is compressible this is also compressible. So, two layers are there compressible layer, but they have different compressibility. So, I cannot use the formula at a time. So, I have to apply formula twice. So, for this soil once and for this soil once and then what I have to do then I have to consider the dispersion like this dispersion like this and you can see that from here to here from here to here this distance comes actually at 6 meter. So, at that means somewhere here in between I have to find out the width of the with this dispersion what is the width and then at this depth what was the dictator sigma phi dash we have to find out. So, I will comp I will calculate uh, in two parts that I consider this one layer 1 actually one part and layer 2 as second part part 1 and part 2 calculation I will do and then sim sum it up to get the total. So, when I will calculate layer 1 when I will calculate layer 1. Okay, so, I have shown the position of equivalent wrap and based on that for when I will do layer 1 then you will be having delta sigma dash or a sigma v dash sigma v dash will be equal to 15.7 multiplied by 1.8 that means, weight of this layer plus uh, this is actually uh, up entire uh, uh, this zone. Uh, since it is this uh, above water table unit weight of sand is not given a uh, unit weight of clay is not given I will take the same value. So, 19.5 multiplied by 3 19.5 multiplied by 3. So, this is 19.5 this depth and then um, from up to water table is 7.8 meter. So, multiple uh, sorry uh, this is plus plus actually 19.5 uh, 19.5. So, it, this is this is 7.8 meter, but if I come up to middle of the clay layer this gives you 7.2. So, this gives you that means, from the uh, from here to here this gives you 7.2. So, it is 19.5 minus 9.81 multiplied by 7.2. So, that means, for layer 1 what was the sigma v dash before application of the load if I calculate this 
this comes actually 156.53 kilo Newton per meter square. And what will be the uh, width of the footing at the middle of the clay layer? Actually, this dimension is given 3.9 by 5.1. So, delta sigma v for, for layer 1 will be equal to q design in the 18000 kilo Newton divided by 3.9 plus 3, because it was total 6. So, in between 3 meter and this is uh, 5.1 plus 3. So, that gives you a value equal to 32.2 kilo Newton per meter square. Now, if I cal uh, use the delta 1 suppose delta 1 if I 2 then C c actually 0 0.2 multiplied by 6 meter is the uh, thickness 1 plus the void ratio is 0 0.7 log 10 base 156.53 plus delta sigma is 32.2 divided by delta uh, sigma v dash 156.53. So, if I calculate this one you get delta 1 will be equal to 57.35 millimeter. So, uh, so, initially will be equal to initially it will come in meter of course, 0 0.0573 uh, meter. So, finally, will be 0 uh, point uh, uh, sorry this will come 57.3 millimeter. Okay. So, this is the uh, uh, this actually uh, what I have calculated I have taken I have because of the this uh, the pile is uh, driven through even uniform uh, friction pile that cohesive, cohesive friction pile. So, in that case our model is that pile and uh, raft will be an equivalent raft will be considered at two third depth. So, two third from here two third from here. So, one third from here. So, if it is one third from here then I can find out this from here to here one clay layer and from here to here another clay layer. So, from here to here this clay layer thickness is 6 meter. So, that means, if it is 6 meter. So, th middle of the clay layer I have to find out what is the delta sigma v dash that means, because of the uh, soil weight before application of the foundation pressure what was the pressure that is calculated here and then I have to find out after application of the load what is the additional pressure is coming that how I will find out by just by dispersion 2 vertical 1 horizontal and at a depth of 3 meter from the raft and that if you do then this is the formula to be used that is enlarging the width at 3 meter depth actually 3.9 plus 3 and 5.1 plus 3 then if you do this this will come 32.2 uh, kilometer per meter square then I can apply the uh, consolidation equal log formula to find out the compression because of this layer and that is coming uh, 57.3 mil, uh, meter uh, millimeter. Now, I will take the second part let me take second part for second part again uh, uh, same I will do uh, equivalent raft here and I will do this one. So, I have to find out uh, at this middle of this layer. Uh, so, uh, I have to this is actually 1.8 and this is uh, 7 I think uh, sorry this is 3 this is 7.8 and this is 2.4 and this is actually 1.5 and uh, and from here to here, from here to here, what is the height? This will be equal to, uh, or I can show this side also. Uh, this height will be equal to uh, ten point eight by three plus one point five. Okay, so this will be uh, equal to. Uh, we will see that um, 10.5 by uh, 10.8 by 3 
plus 1.5. plus 1.5 that gives you 5.1 meter. Okay. So, if this is 5.1 meter oh no sorry uh, this will be uh, uh, plus uh, 10.8 by 3 uh, plus 2.4 plus 2.4 actually. So, 5 uh, plus 2.4 so that gives you uh, it will be 7.5 actually. So, from here to here from here to here. So, this is 10.5 by 3 then 2.4 plus 1.5. So, this is 7.5 meter. So, I will just find out uh, delta uh, or sigma v dash sigma v dash will be equal to uh, your Sigma V dash equal to 15.7, 15.7 multiplied by 1.8 plus 19.5 uh, in multiplied by 3, 19.5 multiplied by 3 uh, plus 19.5 uh, minus uh, 9.81 multiplied by it will come uh, uh, this will be 7.8. Uh, so, 7.8 by 10.8, so it will be 11.7. So, it will be 11.7. So, because I have to find out from here to here, okay. so it will be added, uh, so it will be total 11.7, 7.8 this is uh, 7.8 plus 2.4, 7.8 plus 2.4, 7.8 plus 2.4 plus 1.5 that gives you 11.7. So, that means, I have to take weight of soil up to this. So, I, I, this is the weight of the first part, second part weight of the second part and from here to here soil is uh, same where unit weight is same oh sorry uh, that could have been taken differently this will not be correct uh, 19.5 minus 9.81 multiplied by uh, 7.8 plus 2.4 7.8 plus 2.4 7.8 plus 2.4 that gives you 10.2 uh, and plus uh, 19.18 uh, this is actually 18. So, 18 minus 9.81 multiplied by 1.5. So, that gives you sigma. So, let me find out that 18.9.81 sorry 18.18.0 minus 9.81 uh, multiplied by 1.5 plus 19.5 minus 9.81 multiplied by 10.2 plus 19.5 multiplied by 3 plus 15.7 multiplied by 1.8 that gives you 197 point 197.197.88 now delta sigma will be equal to uh, delta sigma will be equal to uh, your uh, total weight is 1800 divided by the uh, 3.9 plus uh, 3.9 plus uh, 7.5 I multiplied by uh, 5.1 5.1 plus 7.5 so that gives you the uh, pressure equal to 12.53 12.53 kg 
kilo newton per meter square this is also kilo newton per meter square and then layer 2 settlement I can find out delta 2 then C C actually here actually 0 0.32 0 0.32 thickness is 3 meter divided by 1 plus E is 0 uh, 1.05 log 10 base. So, 197.88 plus 12.53 divided by 197.88. So, this if I calculate then it will be 197.88 plus 12.53 divided by 197.88 this I can take uh, log multiplied by 3 multiplied by 0 0.32 divided by 2.05. So, this gives you 0 0.0124 meter or multiplied by 1000 that gives you 12.5 12.5 millimeter. So, delta 1 plus delta 2 now the total little settlement delta will be equal to that means initially layer 1 delta 1 was 50, 57 point 35 plus 12.5 that will be uh, 12.5 plus 57.35 this two together 69.89.84 millimeter. So, that means for this foundation when this is uh, loaded with 1800 kilometer load then total settlement uh, 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 for this uh, compression layer ignoring the uh, elastic compression only consolidation settlement if I consider then you have 69 millimeter settlement that is 70 approximately 70 millimeter close to 3 inches. So, this is actually two method two models I have discussed one is uh, actually at two third uh, length depth and at pile depth and both the problem I have uh, both type of model I have taken. Uh, in the numerical example and uh, only thing you have to know where actually you have to model how and based on that rest of the calculation whatever we have learned in the soil mechanics same thing only. Okay. So, with this I will stop here thank you. Thank you.